The Arkansas Headwaters Recreation Area is 152 miles long. It's the most commercially rafted river in the United States, if not the world. And not only is it about whitewater boating, but it also is one of the best fisheries that we have in the state of Colorado. It's really all about the river. There are many different things that we look at when we're considering acquiring a potential piece of property. Not only is it important for access to the public for boating and for fishing, but also we want to take into consideration the wildlife and the opportunities that parcel may provide for viewing wildlife because we know from a number of different surveys that we've done within the recreation area that in addition to providing public access to the resource, which is really important, one of the most popular activities that we have here within the Arkansas Headwaters Recreation Area is wildlife watching. We generally don't go after properties. We have the landowners come to us and say, hey, we're interested in selling the property. We'd like Parks and Wildlife to take a look at it. And sometimes it just doesn't work out. For example, if the piece of property is really small and it wouldn't provide good public access or doesn't have good public access, we'll often suggest that they contact some other entity. In a few instances where we've known that we've wanted some, some property, we keep our eye on things if something comes for sale, but we never force a landowner to sell us their property. We have gotten to know different landowners up and down the river, ranchers, farmers, people who live in the city, people who have property along the Arkansas River who may live in another state. But because we've established those relationships with people and they've come to trust us, those folks will come to us and ask us if we're interested in purchasing a property. For example, one particular property that I can recall that we recently acquired called the Arkansas River Placer property. I'd gotten to know them over the years through a number of different ways in the community. The family really wanted that property to go into public hands so that the people of the state of Colorado and visitors could use it for fishing, wildlife viewing, and also whitewater boating. And so building that trust, getting to know those folks, they were comfortable with working with Colorado Parks and Wildlife to try to get that 40 acres, a little over a mile of river frontage, river left, river right, into public ownership. And so it was the very first property that Colorado Parks and Wildlife utilized both money from the park side and the wildlife side to acquire a piece of land that we were all interested in because it provided access for fishing and it provided access for world-class boating.